I got one thing here, and it's always the fun stuff. I'm talking about the helmet condom. Oh, Otherwise known as the helmet guardian thing that you throw on your head that these the NFL now has now made allowable in game situations. For those of you that do not know what the helmet guardian thing is, it's basically a rubber thing that goes on top of you, the helmet. You may have seen it in practices on TV. You wonder what the hell is that crap? Well, that's what it is. And other people have renamed it the helmet condom. The helmet condom. The NFL is preaching safety. The NFL preaches safety constantly. We have outlawed the crackback. We have outlawed helmet to helmet hits. What? And, and while players are wearing helmets, we have outlawed the hip drop tackle, which makes goal line defense virtually useless and irrelevant. We have outlawed the horse collar tackle. We have outlawed tackling QBs low. We have outlawed ta tackling QBs high. We have outlawed landing on a QB after tackling him. We have outlawed blindside blocks on either side of the ball. We have outlawed the, outlawed the wedge in kickoff return. We have now outlawed kickoffs to the point where they're going to be five yards apart and have more kickoff returns for touchdown than you've ever seen in the history of the league. We outlined the real onside kick back in the day where you could overload a side, which actually gave the kicking team a chance to get the ball. And we also made them come closer because they used to be able to run from 10 yards. Now they can run from five. Or can they even run now? I don't know anymore. We have changed the rules to where football fucking sucks. You can't run. Yeah. Huh? You can't you run. Can't run. Okay. No. You can? You can't. No, you so can't. you can't even run. You can't. So you can't even get a running start on kickoff anymore. Yet we have eliminated one preseason game to add one regular season game. How is that a safety situation there? Now they want to move it to 18 games. Eliminate another preseason game. Which makes I don't know, makes it hard for an undrafted free agent and lesser known lower draft picks to get actually make a team. We have Thursday night games. Four days after a football game. Tell me, Nick, is that good for your body? No, it's no. not good. N with no practice. No, you don't we practice have games in, We have games in other countries. Expect guys to come back and play. I know they're supposedly have, they usually get a week off after that, but I don't give a goddamn because they came off of playing a game the week before and got to fly halfway across the world to play in London or Germany or whatever other country they want to play in because they want to put football in these damn places. And how Holy do do that? crap. I, I don't know. But <laughs> the travel would be crazy. Is CTE real? Sure, it's real, but you don't know about it until you're dead. They can't, cut, they, don't, they can't tell you until they cut your head open. For Christ's sakes, these are football players. They decided to play football. I'm not saying CTE is not real, but you're sitting here crying for fucking safety while and outlawing everything while at the same time adding games. It's hypocrisy. It's absolute hypocrisy. And now you want players to put on a goddamn rubber contraption on their head. You know what happens when rubber meets the road? It does that. It does not budge. If your head lands on rubber freaking grass, which is not even real, what's going to happen? The head will drive into the ground and it will not move. The helmets that players wear are slick. They have lacquer. They're painted. They slide a lot better. Oh, and we have a whole bunch of fields that are turf that shouldn't be turf. For Christ's sakes, these are billion-dollar organizations. Can they not pay for grass? Can they not pay for water to water the lawn before a game? And have grass that's not dead? Every damn team has complained about the New York Giants facility and the Jets facility, have they not? They've all complained about it. Do they fix it? No. But they care about safety. The damn helmet guardian was made for seven-on-seven seven football. The owner of the company, it was made for seven-on-seven seven football, which is flag or tag football. It's not real football. If we see a... Any player that puts that crap on should be ashamed of themselves in a game situation. They're not football players. They're going to get clowned, and they should get clowned. And, and I've seen football players respond to this. I know Nick is a nicer one than most of these guys, but most of the ones that I've said, particularly the linemen saying, if I see you with that shit on, you're a fucking pussy.
This is football. If you don't want to play football, go play tennis. Go play golf. Go play badminton, ping pong, soccer. I don't give a shit. But you don't belong on the football field. You put that bull crap on your head. Because you're a football player. It is pathetic what they're doing right now. And what you're going to see is a whole lot more neck and back injuries because of that stupid thing on their damn head. And I have this bad feeling, bad feeling, that if they don't wear it, the NFL is going to mandate that shit in the next couple of years. Football in 10 years will not be football anymore. Mark it down. It is getting worse and worse and worse and worse. Why are we playing anymore if we the can't Guardian. do anything? The Guardian Hammers might bring it back. They, oh, they might. You, players may want to kill each other because they're wearing them. Are they going to reinstate helmet to helmet hits? You know, it is rubber on rubber. And, you, know. you know what? You know what can't help your head? You know what's in your head? Are they going to add padding in your brain? No, because the rubber hits the plastic. The plastic hits the rubber inside your helmet. That shit still hits your fucking head. It doesn't change. Softer. Thank you for watching Come On Now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up-to-the-minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel.